morning, Yarnabees. How are you today? Oh man, look at this. Can you guys see that? Oh man. I guess spring is not sprung yet. What the heck? That's crazy. Ugh. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in a bit. Like, look at that. What is that all about? Ugh. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, hang on. Let's zoom you back out. Oh, look at that. I'm... Oops. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> today... Just to start off this... <laughs> Charlene and I opted out of doing the craft fair this weekend. So, um, instead... Today, Saturday, we were supposed to do the craft fair tomorrow. <clears throat> Today, we've decided that we're going to go back to the public market. And we're going to check out the stalls again. Because I honestly don't remember what everything looked like. Because I was kind of blowing through it pretty quickly. Um, so, I didn't really get a good look at what was there and what was available so <clears throat> we're gonna go and check that out and see what's what and then on Monday I go back and I meet up with the owner and I've spoken to her on the phone she's given me some uh, some information about what they want there and <clears throat> you know how things kind of work <sighs> so I have to get a business license and I have my crochet a Canada is already a legal name uh, that I, I own so um, now I just got to get a business license and do all the legal stuff once I find out how much it's going to cost for a space, find out which space I'm going to have. I'm really nervous, guys. Like, terrified, actually. Um, this is a big undertaking. Uh, let me know if there's any of you that have a small business or have had a small business. Um, how did you deal with the stress? How did you, like, were you guys scared or were you excited? You know, I talked to my pal, Sandy Duda, from Left is Right Crochet, and she's saying she's excited. And I talked to Angela from My Precious Yarnery. Those two, I talk to them all the time. They're my buddies. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, they're both really excited for me. Uh, Sandy's concerned about my back and how I'm going to be able to handle being there because I have to be there for six days out of the week and um, Patricia the owner was talking about maybe opening it up for seven days a week during the summer because like it's normally it's closed on Mondays but she's thinking there's a lot of bus tours that come in on Monday I can't be there seven days a week and I have to talk to her about Bailey, my dog Bailey. Um, if it's possible for me to maybe have a kennel in behind my till or something and have her in my kennel. Um, because I don't like the idea of leaving her all day, every day. Uh, that's not fair to her. So, yeah. So I'm kind of trying to think of how to how to deal with that so that Bailey is one of my biggest concerns and um, being there for so many hours is another big concern those are the only two cons that I can actually see in all this um, but I'm still terrified I mean going to end up having to 
take some money out on credit to be able to pay for the startup. I'm terrified that if I can't make that money back, then what? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, did you, like if you had a storefront, uh, did you panic as much as I'm panicking? <laughs> or did you go into it like, yeah, let's go. You know, and it's funny, it's like, it's like my sister said, you know, this is something that I've wanted to do for most of my life. You know, this is my big dream. This is having a storefront with my crochet and jewelry and everything. That is what my goal was for my life. Like I, I have always wanted that. I've got, you know, I was tired of working for everybody else. You know, but there's a lot of responsibility that you have on your shoulders when you're a store owner. And I don't know, being a new entrepreneur, I guess. I'm not really a new, I don't even know what I am. <laughs> I've been doing craft fairs for so long, you know, and is that entrepreneurial? Is that considered a business? Is that, you know, I don't know. I, it's not quite a hobby because I was making money doing it. So is it an entrepreneurial business? Like, I don't know. But yeah, I'm freaked out. So trying to think of all the things I want to do and I can't do anything until I know what size space I'm going to have. So, oh yeah. I'm really bad at all or nothing and you know, I got it, you know, I got to figure it out now, you know, and it's like no, no, no. There's steps involved in this and it's like I can't just go off all cockeyed and say, "Okay, I got to buy this and this and this and this because I don't know right now." But George seems to want to get this going in May. That doesn't give me a lot of time. That gives me a month to figure out my shit, you know. Um, plus, I might have to go in there and paint. So, I might, I don't know if she'll let me do that on a Monday uh, when everything's closed. But yeah, I mean, there's stuff to do, the setup and everything. How does that work? Do I pay for the month and then I have to go in after I've started already, like the month has already started and get set up and then I lose a week out of the month um, just for setting up? Or am I allowed to go in earlier? Or I don't know, guys. I gotta, I gotta talk to her. But see, this is what I do. My brain just goes and then it's like, no, 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 scale it back, talk about it, and, you know, talk about it with her first, figure that part out first, you know, because there's other stuff involved with all that too, like, um, there's something called a can fee, I think it's a can fee, and that's for your lights, you know, hydro, all your hydro and your, um, utilities, right? Maintenance stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah. So, okay, let's go and I'll see if I can't um, videotape some of it. Signed your life away. Um, 
Yeah, you've got your signal on. Uh, signed the lease today for the shop. No pressure. Now I'm really panicking. Um, I got so much I need to do. So much I need to think about. Um, it's not the space that I was thinking I was going to get. Uh, that one is taken for the next six months. But um, I have the option of moving in there after that. But the space that I've got is pretty much the same size. It's just a different setup. And there's a lot more plugins that George actually noticed. Um, so, I don't know. This might actually work out better for us. I think it's better. Yeah. I mean, it's not as nice and open like the other one is, but two plugins is not going to be enough. You're going to have to have your till plugged in yeah. and other stuff. Then you've got no only one plug-in for any lighting or display or anything yeah. else. The other place is like five or six plugins. Yeah. And I don't have to, like... One of my concerns was is the other space was really open and I thought, well, am I going to have um, enough stock for that space right now? Uh, and so, there's no way to secure it because you've got a wide open wall. Yeah, yeah, there was an open wall. I, I, I'll show you a video and, and pictures and stuff. But this one is one door open or like one uh, opening. So I've got to get, i got to contact a company to do a gate, um, a, roll, a rolling gate, like an accordion gate uh, for it. <clears throat> and yeah, the whole setup that I had in my head is out the window. Um, now I'm going to have to rethink things and figure it out. So the nice thing is, is it's a pet friendly place. So I can take Bailey with me. Uh, I just got to get her acclimated to the place um, and make sure that she's not barking a lot. So, yeah. Um, what else? I don't know what else. I'm just, well, you just have to turn it into the kind of place you want it to be. Yeah. But it's... It's fully finished. The walls are finished. We don't have to paint the walls. We don't have to drywall yeah. or any of that. That's all done. It's got really good lighting. Yeah. Lots of light bulbs. Very bright. It's, so that will help. Yeah, it's got um, pocket lighting. I like the fact that it's got five or six electrical outlets. So you've got all op kinds of options for yeah. power and display. Yeah. Uh, it's got nice high walls and a high ceiling. So there's a lot of space that can be utilized on the wall. We've got the grid wall. Yeah. We can just lean it against the wall or put it up against the wall. And there's plenty of wall space to display um, hats or anything else we want to put up there. Yeah. You've got the room for two, at least two tables, maybe even more, depending on how you want to set it up. Yeah. So it's just a matter of figuring, figuring out how best to utilize, utilize the space. It's a wonderful market. Like all the other vendors got some really neat stuff there. They've got a fantastic um, um, ice cream parlor in there. They've got a coffee shop in there. They've got a fish really cute place. fish and chip restaurant in there. So you can totally see it's going to be a really touristy friendly place. It's in a community that does everything it can to beat the drums for tourism and for visitors and people to come and spend money. There are buses that show up full of tourists to look at the murals and it's it's going to be great. And the monthly rent is less than the cost of what we pay for a single weekend of winter craft fairs during December. Yeah. So, Yeah, the space that we're getting is actually less than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I figured it was going to be about 500 550 It turns out that it's going to be 4 
now the space that I've got allotted for that is not going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. Damn it. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, so now George is taking me out for lunch to celebrate. My sister came with us. Um, I, th I think I'm going to cry a few tears of absolute fear, but <laughs> I just, but I'll tell you, um, something kind of funny happened, well, not funny, something kind of interesting happened, uh, my shop is going to be called My Spirit Raven, um, just like the Etsy page that I've got, and I was looking for a sign. I was looking for a sign to say, like, should I do this? Like, higher powers, family, you know, I need a sign. We get to the shop, and George gets out of the car and says, Hey, Sandy, here's your sign. I'll put a picture right here. Um, that couldn't have been any bigger of a sign. <laughs> It was like, oh, okay then. <laughs> so the lady that um, owns the building that runs this all, she's so nice. Her name is Patricia. She is, she's great. Um, she's very accommodating. Yeah, she's basically said yes to everything we've asked. Yeah. She hasn't put any roadblocks in her way. Yeah. And it's all about, we. she's excited for us. She wants us to be successful. Yeah. She's willing to do anything she can to help us on our way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine a better situation. Yeah. This is uh, not the city we live in, um, which it really is a good thing. So all of the the um, trouble we have in Nanaimo with the homeless folks and the people wandering around to kind of scare tourists away, uh, yeah. They don't have any of that in Shumanis. Yeah, It's a beautiful little community. Uh, it's very much a touristy town. It's very less like going to Tofino or um, yeah. I don't know what other analogy to use. Yeah. Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco or somewhere like that where basically the lifeblood of the whole thing is tourism. They yeah. have bus tours that go there because they have very famous uh, murals that were painted by native artists of all kinds of native arts so they get tour buses that come out to take pictures of the murals the market is right there for them to come in they have an outdoor market in the summer they even have a that, big mural on the that side of that attracts building. people as well so yeah we couldn't have asked for a better situation it's only about a 30 minute drive from where we live yeah so it's, it's close but not too close yeah um yeah i couldn't imagine a better situation I mean, in my heart, I know that this is the right thing to do. I know that this is what I've always wanted to do. It's just taking that first step um, was really scary. You know, I mean, this is a big, a big undertaking. This is, um, well, it's like my first real business, right? Like, I mean, I've been doing craft fairs for so many years. Um, this is like a step up from that and so <clears throat> yeah it's um it's scary it's very scary <laughs> <laughs> so and I'm not gonna have like normally at craft fairs I've got George standing right there with me uh and he's doing the selling and he's doing the you know talking to people and all that I'm not gonna have that it's all riding on me now and uh, so I well, hopefully I've taught you how to do it by now. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I'm just like, uh. but I will be filming the process. Um, I will be, oops. Um, I will film the setup and everything of the store and um, talk to you guys about any issues that I'm finding, which I'm hoping there isn't going to be any. Uh, and uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Okay, we're going to go have lunch. Love you all. Bye. Hi, Yarna Bees. I did it. <laughs> I, I'm a 
big time entrepreneur and shit now. <laughs> I, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I signed the paperwork for the lease for my new shop. Wow. <laughs> I am absolutely, I don't even know what to think. Um, <clears throat> yesterday I was scared to death. Today, I'm excited, but I'm still want to throw up. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, you guys. Um, so, yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just absolutely stumped, dumbfounded right now. I can't even believe that this is ha actually happening. Um, I've wanted this for many 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 years and now it's happening 40 no 40 yeah 54 years old coming up this may and uh i'm finally have my own shop um so yeah everything that i had started i didn't get the the place that i wanted as you, you already know um, from the clips but <clears throat> but that's okay uh, I have the option in six months if I want to switch over um, to that other shop. But you know what? I have a sneaky suspicion that when I get in there, I'm not going to want to leave because I'm going to be um, I'm going to be setting it up the way I want. You never know. I might grow out of that space, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm super excited. I, I'm, I woke up this morning and, um, I put my first order in for some product. I, I put my order in for the gate that I need. Um, I, Oh, ordered some stuff off at Amazon that I need. Um, some display stuff and some, you know, the little sizing tags for the uh, hangers and stuff. Like, just, oh my God, you guys. I just want to cry. Um, I don't know if I want to cry out of... Like, I can't, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is happening and I'm so happy. Or if I want to cry because I just dropped a bunch of money and I'm terrified that this isn't going to walk, work out. Um, yeah, God, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I have no idea what to think. My head is spinning. I could barely sleep last night. I ended up having to take something to help me sleep. Um, yeah, big, big jump, big jump. But the nice thing about it is, is I'm not locked into a lease. I can leave at any time. I'm hoping I don't have to. Um, but yeah, my whole branding has switched. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, it's not going to be Crochet A Canada. It's now going to be my spirit rave. Excuse me, my spirit raven. So, whoo, boy. <laughs> I just freaked out. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely going to um, <clears throat> videotape everything and uh, take you guys along with me for the ride because I don't want to be alone. <laughs> don't leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, I did have a, a message um, from a yarn bee that said, hey, don't forget about us. You know, are you still going to be making videos? Absolutely. <clears throat> the videos may be from the shop, though, um, because I have to be there six days a week. Um, but, Yeah. Uh, I'll still be I'll still be videotaping or uh, doing videos and stuff, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Everything I make, I will still video. Um, 
don't worry. I'm hoping that not a lot, I mean, a lot's going to change. But as for the channel, uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be a big adventure and that it's something that you guys are going to enjoy. You'll be able to see what I bring into the shop. You're going to see um, the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, you're going to see any of the crochet items I make for the shop. Um, any of the yarns that I bring in for the shop. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot still. <clears throat> so, yeah. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to pop in and, and do a sign off. And... <laughs> um, yeah. So, okay, guys, I guess I will go now. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and your, your, um, yeah, just your love. Um, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Yes. This is going to be good. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. I love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>